Welcome back on the channel. I'm back into VirtualBox here because today I think we must defend Hyperland and give this beautiful dynamic tiling Raylan compositor a chance to show how it really feels and behaves outside of virtual machines. So I loaded a USB 3 external drive into this VirtualBox machine to do a quick installation again and a configuration of Hyperland so that I could boot into Arch natively from that external drive to show you how awesome Hyperland really is. The only thing I will have to figure out is the NVIDIA driver situation as I'm on a new and modern system. Um, but yeah, we will see how this runs and I expect the GPU to run if I use the proprietary drivers this time. So as that is coming up in the driver installation after selecting the desktop type, I will also see how that goes. So we will take the whole drive, of course, here. So I have to select here the second drive. That's the external drive. It's a normal hard disk drive that I had laying around. And uh, while installing, I think I will take LightDM instead of SDDM because uh, as in my experience, uh, it's a little bit yeah, more stable and works more often from the default. So let's add a user here and the password. Of course, if you're installing on a real machine, take a safe and secure password. And then here in the profile, I take Hyperland. And uh, yeah, and the graphic selection comes after that. So here I will now take the NVIDIA drivers and uh, the proprietary, proprietary drivers here. So, and let's do LightDM, as I said. And I will install some additional packages. So, um, yeah, we need perhaps NeoFetch and uh, Chromium as a browser, and I will install um, GLMark as we have used in the other video to benchmark the OpenGL performance. Yeah. And uh, when we have uh, finished this installation here and set everything up, I will take the time zone and um, network from the ISO and take that over to the machine. I'm in Europe here and Berlin, yes. So like that, and now we can do the installation. But as we have seen and done this installation with Argent style several times on this uh, channel, I will just speed that up now to uh, yeah get quicker into the real machine. And so we will see us after the installation and when I've rebooted into the other machine in the real machine natively. So, and now we are booted into Arch with Hyperland from that external hard disk drive. I configured the NVIDIA drivers like it is explained in the Hyperland wiki, and I also set up Waybar and configured Kitty so it has some transparency and blur. But that are only minor changes, of course, and you can rise Hyperland much more if you like. Remember that this is running OBS recording in the background in Full HD with 60 frames and uh, then notice how responsive and smooth everything feels. So nothing in comparison to the performance in the virtual machines. NeoFetch gives you an overview of what we are using here. It's an i9 with 32 GB of RAM and a GeForce RTX 3070. And so let's close all apps and let us run GLMark beside OBS on this machine. So this is the smooth performance I wanted to have as a daily driver. 
And so Hyperland is definitely my recommendation for Wayland. And otherwise, my personally uh, will stick to i3 a little bit longer on my notebook. But um, yeah, let's do this test here. And I will speed up this test a little bit more and let it run for a bit. So the overall score here is 8028, but the first tests ran with up to 12,000 FPS here. So in the end, what counts here is this much more responsive system. Even from that hard drive, this loads instant and feels really good. And um, so let's do another thing. Let me... Um, reboot the system and disable all the effects in kitty and then we um, reproduce the benchmark from the older video so here we are again and remember we had uh, 52 on the virtual machine and let's see what we get out of here So we have 9,695 while recording with OBS running on the GPU. So with this video, I have now, I think, defended Hyperland's honor. And I really recommend it. And as always, thank you for watching and bye.